I see you have the S2000 spec screen up here. I do. The Type I B. See... Sorry? Type B. The Type B, yes. Sorry, I had to interrupt to get that part in. <laughs> yeah, that's such an important part of the of the car's name. Have the carrot colour. Do you think it should? No, I don't. It looks a little bit carroty, doesn't it? In Gran Turismo 1, there was an orange concept car, wasn't there? And I always used to call that the carrot car. Either that or the rust car. I remember that, yeah. I remember that looking uh, quite strange compared to the rest of the other cars. I thought it was more like a Thunderbirds car, if you know what I mean. I can't exactly remember what it looked like except that it was orange. Or something, so, like, something out of wacky races. Race, wacky races at least. Oh, interesting. I have wacky races for the PlayStation 1, but I've never played it. Well, I think in dedication to that great car from Gran Turismo, the original, uh, I, I should buy this in this colour. It's actually New Formula Red, according to the game. Well, we'll call it Carrot Red for now. Okay. The Carrot Car. Would you like to get into the Carrot Car now? Yes. I regret buying that now. No, I don't really. You got buyer's remorse. Yeah. Like off the Simpsons. So what is that map? Is it a fake place or is it supposed to be Monte Carlo or something? I don't know, it looks a bit like... Um, Venice? I'm not sure. It looks like the sort of map you find in the game where there's water around it and makes it look like as if it's more, more distinguished. Yeah, it looks like one of those maps that you would never find in the real world, only in video games. What are we going to do now, Gomez? I'm going to do up my car. Oh, goody! Can we put... Can we put an extra battery in it to go double the speed? I yeah. don't... I don't know how cows work. Cows. <laughs> I don't know how cows or cars work, to be honest with you. Don't... Don't cows have more than one stomach? Do cars have more than one stomach? They must do, because that's where they keep the people. Oh. Oh, I, I'm on those seats, sorry. They have a front stomach and a back stomach. Yeah. And then the SUVs and the people carriers, they sometimes have a third stomach. And then that bloke who was Paul Gascoigne's mate, was he five bellies? Or six bellies. He has five stomachs. Or six. This is going to be good. Quite a boost in horsepower though. Well the intention, oh we can't afford that. The intention What do you mean you can't afford it? It's just a metal rod. Inanimate carbon rod. I'll buy this disc instead. It's a very fancy disc, isn't it? It's a pog with holes in it. How much did that cost? It's a slammer, I don't know, about a um, thousand credits or something like that. You could have won it off some kid in the school playground. Mm, yeah. Was it actually a flywheel? Yeah, it was, yeah. There's a lot of licenses in Gran Turismo these days. The original game only had two, didn't it? Or three, maybe. But now... There's about seven or eight or something stupid, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I forgot about the rally license. This is GTA, or rather, this is Gran Turismo 3, isn't it? I only ever really played 1, 2 and 4. I didn't really get into the third one. I might have started a game on my memory card and got a little bit into the game, but I don't remember playing it extensively. This is one of my uh, favourite Gran Turismo's. Do you think it's better than Gran Turismo 4? I've played on this more than Gran Turismo 4 and I feel that this is um, a more nice... Oh, I feel that this is better, I don't know. Um, Gran Turismo 4 has a presence with me which I don't really think is, you know, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, to be honest with Well, I, s I kind of... Sorry. You've just watched me <laughs> meal out of this, by the way. I'm sorry, Gomez. I made you do that, didn't I? No. 
Now, I missed the music at that point where it goes, uh, are we allowed to do it? Are we allowed to do a rendition? I, I think we are. One, two, three. Do 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 Oh, I've done it wrong again. Oh, I'll oh. Off the track. Well, going back to the point you made about this being your favourite of the Gran Turismo games, or better than four anyway, uh, quite a lot of people agree with you on that, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I I prefer this game to any of the others. Uh, Gran Turismo 2 was my favourite for a very long time, until I started playing this and giving this a chance. And then I got used to it, and uh, now it's one. It's definitely one of my favourites. Probably one of my favourite games on the PS2. Yeah. And by the way, I've exited that uh, license test because I suck. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice that. I was having so much fun in this chat about the relative merits of the different Gran Turismo's. This race. Last time I entered this race, I did horrendously bad. Well, maybe this time you'll be luckier. You'll do it for the cameras. I couldn't do the licenses very well for the cameras. Is it the pressure? Is it the pressure of being filmed? I think it's talking at the same time. I'm not used to talking while driving on this game. I can do it in real life. In, uh, in, you know, in reality, but... Well, maybe, if you got some equipment, like the official PS2 wheel, and I think you can get some other accessories like uh, pedal, brake pedal, things like that, yeah. make it more real, and actually have, get some cardboard boxes, and set up, <laughs> set up in your front room, a miniature version of your car, so you can pretend that you're actually driving in your car. And then when someone walks past the window and sees you, they'll think you're a right idiot. They'll think that the house is an actual car. <laughs> and there's a kitchen and a toilet in the car. It reminds me of that apocryphal tale of the bloke who built the kit car in his living room and then realised there was no way of getting it out. And then, was that on Top Gear? I'm not sure. It's, as I say, it's a, an apocryphal tale. It's just one of those stories that gets passed on and on and on. Everybody says they know the person that did that, the idiot that did that. Alright, yeah. What was it called? Apocryphal. 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 It means, it's not necessarily true, in fact, it's probably not. But it's a tale that people tell it's one of those that could easily be true. It sounds like that it could easily be true. Right, see. But it's probably not. Although, somewhere, someone must have done that at some point. I'm trying to think if I have or and, not. And the mates who came round to his house and said, So, uh, <laughs> nice car, how are you going to get it out? I bet they wished that they had a camera with them at the time to film that. I wonder if that goes back to the Stone Age when the Flintstones were around. What, so when they actually built a, one of those... What's the name of the... Oh, the Cavemen's Car out of Wacky Races. I've forgotten. Um, it's like a stone vehicle thing out of the Flintstones or something, isn't it? It's not the Ant Hill mob, is it? No, those were the... Oh, those were the little guys in the big black... Sort of mobs the car. Oh, right. Um, the Caveman Capers, I don't know. Caveman Circus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just to clarify, well, that's with you viewers. Caveman Circus is a website that Gomez frequents, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> Other websites are available. And we've finished the racing first. Round of applause for Gomez, the fantastic games player. Well, I don't know about that. 
Yes, 6,000 credits now. We can retire! Oh, I never noticed those numbers on the track before. What I'm, next? I'm gonna enter this. I mean, I'm going to enter this.